Hey everyone, I just got back from a trip from Seattle and I wanna share some of the delicious raw meals that I had there. So when I'm traveling, I have two main wishes. One is that my friends have a very smooth sailing experience and that we all just have a really good time together. Two, I really enjoy visiting the local butcheries and trying raw meat dishes wherever we go. And the thing is, finding raw meat everywhere we go can sometimes be an obstacle which makes finding it so much more satisfying. Also, a little bit of a disclaimer, I tried to take clips of everything that I ate. However, I still feel a little awkward filming in front of my friends. So some of the clips might be like very short or blurry. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up. So starting off, right after we landed off the plane, I walked over to a nearby studio for a chill practice session. The walk was about five miles and the sun was out and having sat in a plane for a couple of hours, it felt really nice to feel the sun on my skin and I was super grateful that we were able to land early enough to be able to still soak up the sun, be outside and enjoy the day. Afterwards, my friends wanted to hit up a steakhouse and my friends are all about the taste, artistry and dining experience when it comes to food. And so when I go out with them, I really focus on enjoying my time with them, enjoying their company. And if there's nothing on the menu for me to eat, like there's no raw meat dishes, I'm perfectly okay with just not eating there and just holding off until I'm able to find some high quality raw meat, raw eggs, or raw milk elsewhere. And the truth is finding the optimal high quality raw meat dish at a restaurant is rare. Case in point, the steak tartare on the menu. When there's steak tartare at a restaurant, I usually ask the waiter if there's any way I can get it just completely plain, like just the meat and the egg yolk if it comes with it, but absolutely no sauces mixed in, and if there's raw vegetables, if they can leave it on the side. The waiter told me that they absolutely could not separate the ingredients because they're all already pre-made, already mixed in together. So that's when I was like, okay, that's, that's fine, like I, I'm okay then, as in like I won't order anything because I don't eat raw meat that has been contaminated with toxic processed seed oils. Having worked in the food industry for many years myself, I wasn't going to give the waiter a hard time or anything like I understood what was going on. And so I was perfectly okay with just sitting out on the meal, just, you know, talking, having a good time and just getting food afterwards. I'm just happy to be there. And if that means me not eating when they're eating, that's okay. However, it did not stop there. My friends decided that we were not leaving until I had some raw meat on my plate. And so my friends really fought tooth and nail for this and were able to somehow get the waiter to be able to bring out a plate of just raw steak which is why I'm so grateful to my friends as well as the staff in the restaurant. So there we were, all of us just sitting together, having a good time, all of us having food on, on our plates and just enjoying each other's company. And in that moment, that's when I realized this is love. You know, <laughs> this is true friendship and love, not leaving anyone behind. I'm really grateful that my friends accept me for the way that I eat, even though they might not understand it. It's just the support that means the most to me. And while we were eating, I would occasionally look up to, you know, engage in co conversation with my friends and whatnot. In the corner of my eye, I can see the staff members staring at me as if I was like a zoo animal or something, <laughs> which I understand, like it's not every day where you see just entire raw steak on a plate. So that meal to me was a reminder that your true friends will support you and have your back no matter what. The next day we went to a restaurant that served happy hour raw oysters. I ordered a dozen for myself and my friends ordered a dozen to share amongst the four of them. They ended up not being able to finish their shared plate of raw oysters and so I jumped in and helped out. So I ended up eating probably around 19 oysters. After eating we decided to walk around and check out some of the cultural antique shops. One of my friends bought a real silk kimono and my other friend bought a scarf. I thought these handmade knives and weaponry and masks were super cool. Then we walked over to Pike Marketplace, which is always a tradition every time I'm in Seattle. 
My first stop is always the little butchery that's located out in the front. The meat here never disappoints. I always get a bone in ribeye. However, this time I saw this New York strip piece that was just practically calling my name. Afterwards, I set out on a little side quest to try to find some raw milk. And lo and behold, we were able to find some grass-fed raw goat's milk. I was super excited to try some, so I bought a tiny bottle for myself. I really, really enjoyed it. We continued our adventure around Seattle, and when it got to dinner time, we all got pretty hungry. So we stopped by a restaurant. I believe it was called The Pink Door or something like that. It was an Italian restaurant that was located behind a pink door. The service was very lovely, and I was able to order a raw meat dish there. They had this ahi tuna plate, and I just ordered it without any of the sauces, any of the toppings, any of the side dishes that it came with. You get used to the fact that when you order it without everything, it looks very small. <laughs> so here I had four slices of ahi tuna. I still enjoyed it so much because I got to sit with my friends, enjoy the ambience, enjoy the atmosphere, and honestly, the tuna was tasted very fresh, high quality. After dinner, we continued walking around and we stumbled upon live music inside of an Irish pub. The entire performance, I was hyper fixated on the violinist because I think the Irish fiddle violin sound is so cool. It makes me want to cheerfully fist fight and get into battle mode. And so that wraps up all the things that I ate when I was in Seattle with my friends. I really enjoyed it. It was a really short trip. Although I still feel a little awkward eating my raw meats around my friends, let alone film it. You know what? Mission accomplished. I was able to stick to what I wanted to eat and I got to film it too. The days leading up to these trips, I always feel a little nervous inside about, you know, am I gonna be an inconvenience or hassle to my friends going out of the way to go to butcheries to find raw meat and, and all of this for, for me. But the thing is, it was nothing like that. There's a mutual love and understanding with each other where it's like when you're happy, I'm happy, right? And I think to them, me being comfortable in my own skin and eating the things I wanna eat is what makes them happy too. That's something that I learned this trip and I'm super grateful for that. Thank you for tuning in to today's video and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.